Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna start because if I don't, then the video will never be made. <laughs> this is attempt, I don't know. I've been trying to make this video for at least an hour. I have all my fancy equipment set up. Um, had my coffee, it's probably cold now. Here is my porch. My name is Chelsea. I am a mama to four amazing kids, um, eight, six, four, and 10 months old. I am married to, I don't know how, I don't have the fancy lighting like other people do. I am married to my high school sweetheart. I went to school for journalism and then transitioned to be a full-time photographer, wedding photographer specifically, and loved that. But then I had my babies and eventually transitioned to being um, full-time stay-at-home mom, which I love, and I'm so blessed by that job and by that responsibility. Um, but I still have things, you know, that I love outside of being a mom, though my kids do share in all of my hobbies. They think that perfume is fun, or at least they humor me like my husband does. So I'm very grateful for them humoring me. Making sure. I just know my husband's gonna peek out and look at me. <laughs> my fragrance journey started uh, high school, probably before high school, but the obsession really, like the obsession of pouring over Fragrantica, um, I mispronounce things too, so I'm not even sure if that's how it's pronounced, but um, the obsession of pouring over Fragrantica at like three in the morning and reading reviews and um, finding out, discovering like the actual breakdown of notes and the perfumes that I was smelling and that I was loving, that just like totally captivated me. Um, and so that interest carried into college and I would tell people, you know, in another world, in another lifetime, I would want to be a perfumer. I would want to study in France and um, just learn the chemistry and all about being a perfumer. Um, I don't know why I didn't just do that. I could, I should have done that. No, if I would have done that, then I don't think that my four babies, my four kiddos would be here with me today. Some favorite perfumes. Um, there was one by Bath and Body Works. This might've been, this might've been my first like big girl perfume. It was called, I'll have to, Pop it on the screen, maybe right there. That's a good corner. Um, it was called, I think it might have just been called Amber or something like that, but I loved it. I thought it smelled so grown. I, me and my friend Leah thought that we smelled like legit grown ups when we wore that. And I remember we kept it in our, um, both of us had a bottle and we kept it in our dashboard of our cars and so we would top up all throughout wherever we were going and totally ruined the fragrance I'm sure by keeping it in our hot cars but we just thought we were awesome with that um, and then in college I had many loves um, I loved R Roberto Cavalli just no just just for her. Oh, just Cavalli for her um, by Roberto Cavalli. Um, it had, it was like quintessential of the 2000s era. It had like a bajillion notes in it and um, coffee being one of them. And I loved that. I just thought it smelled so edgy and different than all of my friends who were wearing like Victoria's Secret perfumes that were coming out like I don't know, bombshell or maybe that's when teas came out. I'm thinking like the 2009, 2010. And I loved, um, for my then boyfriend, but now husband, I loved Givenchy Play Intense, which I would love if they brought that back. I would buy a bottle immediately for him. I would buy the giant, I would buy many bottles. Um, and he's actually been just like, He's been using his last bottle since we got married and we've been married almost 12 years. So he's been 
Um, he's made that last bottle last, <laughs> but it has finally gone bad. So that is such a bummer, but it also, another coffee, vanilla fragrance, loved that one. He wears Jazz Club now by Replica and, or Re Maison Margiela Replica Jazz Club. My brother used to go to Sephora with me all the time simply because we were in college together and um, we've always been best friends. And so he would humor me like my family does now. So he was in Sephora with me one day and he was smelling all the perfumes and um, I found Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau and was like, oh, Seth, this smells amazing. I smell licorice. I don't even know if there's licorice in it. I'll have to look that up now, but I just thought it smelled amazing. So he liked it and he bought it for himself. I guess the um, like unwritten code we had that day was we were gonna pick out each other's new fragrance that we were gonna wear because I used to be one of those people who had like a bottle or two or some of something and I would completely go through it. And then when I was done with it, I would then replace it with something totally different. And now it's totally different, totally different approach to wearing fragrance now. Um, but you know, you have like your seasonal fragrances and your special occasion fragrances and just like the ones that you have to be in certain moods for. So, um, you know, what are we called? Frag heads, I guess is what we're called. But, um, uh, so I was out of perfume. So I picked out, um, Le Beau for him and I was like, okay, it's, you know, what are you going to pick out for me? And he went around and smelled everything and was getting really intense, just could not find the right one. And then he picked up Dior's Hypnotic Poison and he was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Chelsea, you have to buy this. It smells like root beer, <laughs> which he loves root beer, cream soda, anything like that, sugary, fizzy, um, you know, <laughs> hold. Okay, I think this is as good as we're gonna get. There's patchy light everywhere, but you know, if you wait till the perfect opportunity to start something, you're never gonna start. So I just decided, let's get it done. Like there's my, if you see, if you see my kids running around or my husband, um, hey. You can't, you can't wait for the perfect opportunity. You just gotta do it when you can do it. Here's another view of my porch, another angle. I don't know what I'm gonna call my perfume channel. Um, like I like it out here on the porch. Maybe I'll call it like the perfume porch. I don't know. <laughs> I think that could be good. Favorite perfumes um, in college were all of those that I mentioned and then um, my wedding day perfume. I was 21 when I got married so I feel like the perfume that I chose suited me well at the time of my life and I still carry like a oh gosh I still can't you see that light I still carry a pen spray of it. I still have the bottle too, but it's gone bad. But, um, and I went through several bottles of it, but I have a pen spray of it. It's the Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. That'll be my new pop-up corner. I love it. It just smells like berries and grass to me. I mean, honestly, it's still, it's still my style as far as like me as a person, not as far as like my style as fragrance, but um, you know, I do feel like it has like some whimsy to it, some fruits. It smells like, you know, you're sitting in the grass, you're on a picnic, you're wearing a sundress. And so um, it did suit me then and it does suit me now, but I have, my taste has evolved in fragrances. Um, I still love a good celebrity perfume. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, I loved Jessica Simpson fancy and I loved fancy love and actually I'm looking for a bottle of fancy love right now I want to find it like in store somewhere like Ross or Marshall's um but I may just break down and order it online um but yes those were for sure my favorite celebrity perfumes oh my friend Anna when I told her I said Anna in another lifetime I would be a perfumer I would go to France and I would become a chemist and learn all about perfumes and she studied abroad. Um, she went to the UK but then she visited France in her spare time and I said, oh my goodness, you have to go to one of the Goutal, Anique Goutal stores, one of their boutiques 
you have to, you have to, because there are perfumes that I want to smell and I need you to see if they'll give you like testers of it. Because back then, like in 2010, 2011, you couldn't, ordering samples online wasn't a thing, or if it was, I was not aware of it. And she was like, okay, there are, I know where the Anique Goutal store is. So which one do you really want? And I said, Teachery. Like I just knew right away and it just, it, that was the one I wanted. And she was so sweet and brought it back to me. And so I have good memories with that one and um, I don't have it anymore. So I really need to, I'm really tempted to order a bottle to add it back to my collection. Maybe I should switch around. Why would you get a grow out of my ears? Perfume that I love now. Too many. I have so many. I have I I have such an appreciation for the art of perfumery. So there even if there's one that I do not like on my skin or I don't like it for myself, I can usually appreciate it. Um I can't think of any right now off the top of my head that I absolutely hate. I'm sure there are some, but for the most part, I just love the art of it. And that's why I watch other people's YouTube videos. I am on for Grantica all the time, seeing what other people think about new releases or old perfumes. Um, and I just love learning about it and talking about it. I have a good friend here um, locally who uh, loves it just as much as I do. And so that's super fun. We get to swap samples and everything. So. Anyway, I'm just, I just appreciate, um, what goes into making a perfume and I love to follow the master perfumers and, and the apprentice perfumers and see what creations they're coming out with and, um, just experiencing the world through that sense, you know, it's such a powerful sense. I have a really sensitive nose, so I feel like I can pick out the different notes now that I... I'm aware of what certain notes smell like and the individual notes, um, but now that I'm done having babies and I don't have, I don't have the risk of getting extremely sick from smelling a perfume like I did when I was pregnant, which is always really, really sad. Each pregnancy I thought, okay, this one, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll be able to wear my perfume. And then I was not, it, that was not the case. So I would always put my perfumes away in a box far away, I couldn't even see them without feeling sick. And so, um, but now they're all back and I get to enjoy them and I'm done having babies. And so, um, hey, now I get to enter my YouTube chapter of life, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Stop! Get away! <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so I'm starting this journey and that was just a little chit chat and I rambled all over the place, but, uh, I'm excited to be, I'm excited to join the YouTube fragrance community and who knows how my videos will evolve. I'm sure, hopefully, I am sure they'll get better. Hopefully. All right. Scent of the day. Giardini di Toscana. <laughs> I do not pronounce things correctly. You will soon learn. Celeste. Giardini di Toscana. Oh my gosh, I was tapping the perfume bottle to make it focus and not my camera. <laughs> Celeste. Love this one. My husband actually gifted it to me yesterday before church. So it was a surprise. Candy Violets to my nose, the most amazing vanilla dry down, and seawater and lime in the opening. So it has like a beachiness to it in the beginning. It's very different. I love it. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.